Snickopy! Back with some more Hunter Hunter. We last left off. Ooh, man, we got a real cool setup here. So we got a Termin arc, but it's a term arc that's been turned on its head. Where the bracket is the loser that moves on. And in the end, that means only one person is actually going to fail the exam and everyone else will get it. Which, hey, when you really think about it, that means your chances of actually becoming a hunter by that point are pretty high. But I wonder who's going to be the one that doesn't get through. Honestly, I, I feel like it's probably just going to end up being one of these like side characters like that old man or something and then everybody else will become a hunter because so there's a possibility that Gaunt will, will say no I don't want to be a hunter after that win it'll be interesting to see what he does when he wakes up again but I will say I am really glad that they didn't just like drop the tournament because that's what I was kind of afraid they were going to do when Hanzo was like well if Gaunt just gets up and says he's not going to take it because this didn't feel like a win to him is there any point in us fighting but no they still seem to be going on so whew, good good because I want to see this shit I want to see Kurapika versus Ahsoka. That is going to be super interesting. I feel like this is also a really kind of uh, important moment here because it is showing now uh, people's quote-unquote power levels, right? And how, like, just because Gon was doing well and showing that he has, you know, a keen sense of observation, good instincts, and that he is quite fast, he even thought going into that fight with Hanzo that, oh, this seems like it'll be an even battle. But he got freaking brutalized it just shows that both his expectations and our expectations of what would happen in an actual battle between these two are are wrong right and we both ended up having to learn the hard way and i i think that's really cool and i i would agree that i i'm seeing some of you say that this is where the show really starts to break the mold in a lot of ways and i am seeing it this definitely isn't something you'd see happen to freaking goku it's just like goku would just either beat the shit out of him or win by the skin of his teeth but not win because he literally just had no chance and but still chose not to give up and that the power difference is still so high and some of you guys said you consider hanzo to be just an average hunter really i thought i was after that display i was like oh man he must be some next level shit but if he's just regular, I mean, compared to Hosoka, he probably will seem relatively normal. But unfortunately, I think that does mean that Kurpika probably doesn't stand a chance against him. I don't know. I think he would have to whip out his his anger. But even then, I think Hosoka is the strongest guy there. Although the, the, the Gitaru, whatever that guy's name is, could also be on a similarly high level. Also curious to see how Liario's going to handle all this. I don't know. This shit's just got me fucking excited. But anyway, last episode, uh, Son of Sis said... If you look closely, you can see that Netero actually listened to the examinee's requests of who they don't want to fight. Hanzo, Pakul, and Gitaraku, Gitaraku, say, Raka, didn't want to fight Hisoka, so Hisoka is on the opposite side of the bracket from them. Hisoka, Liario, and Badaro didn't want to fight Gon, so Gon is on the opposite side of the bracket from them. The only person whose request it was completely ignored was Killua. That's really interesting. That's, that's... A really uh, keen observation there, Son of Sis. And that also sort of, I think, shows why Netero is seeing Killua in a lesser light than Gon. Despite Killua clearly being stronger than Gon, right? And more skilled. Like, he said he could see the attacks that Hanzo was doing, which I, I believe he could have. And that's because I think Gon is really used to fighting man, right? I think he's just maybe tackling a big fish or some kind of beast or something, but... Uh, fighting like a real skilled warrior, I think, is uncharted territory for him. Well, Kill Killua is something that he's very used to. Unlike Gon, Killua doesn't have that that persistent attitude, right? Of never giving up or finding a victory in something else, something attainable. Instead, he just says, oh, it's not worth my time. I'm just giving up. And I think uh, Netero, when he saw that, was like, oh, less impressed. And when Gon showed that he had found a victory of his own, that knocked uh, Gon a, a few notches in his eyes compared to Killua. And I think that's what Killua just doesn't understand. But I think that's also why he chose to ignore his request here. It's really interesting though. That I, I'm, I appreciate you pointing that out, son of sis. It is for that reason you are <coughs> comment of the day. Okay, I'm super fucking hyped for this. Like, I'm just, I can't wait to see what happens. This, this show, like, I keep feeling like every time I'm watching this, I think I might know what happens, but it keeps throwing me for a loop. And I love that. I love that fucking feeling. There's nothing better than like that feeling of you think you see where, what's, where it's going and then it goes Ooh, zigzag Ooh, to the left to the right ah 180 turn that thicket all around but anyway guys hunter hunter episode 20 let's get started gone dreaming oh yeah running after his dear old daddy does he even know what his father looks like i mean probably does i see a bit of a face there bye dad all right your little boo is healed up pretty well baffling churn of events Ooh, that was a foreboding start there. There wasn't even any music. It just starts in baffling turn of events. Baffling in what way? 
Hunter Hunter. Turns out Ligario beats Ahsoka. <laughs> that would be quite baffling, Hunter Hunter. Oh, it's him. Oh, good. <laughs> the bone will be stronger than before. In fact, when it heals, you will be eight times stronger than you were before. We've discovered you actually have Saiyan blood flowing through you. What was that called? I'm looking it up online. There's actually a name for that. That ability to become stronger when you've, like, almost died or whatever. I'm looking it up. I'm seeing Saiyan power when I look it up in Google, but that that's not what it was... Now, how I remember it being called, there was actually like a term for it, like Nakama, but it, but it wasn't Nakama. It was that that's the power of friendship. This this was something else. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Oh, congrats on passing the exam. That's probably what is that his his, his degree over there? What's Gong gonna do? Oh. Oh, good review, Satats. I'm glad I wasn't like, I'm not going to let you say no, I'm not taking this. A person who has passed the exam will not be allowed to take it again. Uh, uh, there we go. That's how you get him. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so no, he... he he can't drop it if he wants to have any hope of finding his dad, right? But it means that it doesn't mean that Gon is going to have to get stronger in his own way. I'll, I'll be curious to see, will he just do it through the experiences of being a hunter? Will he actually find someone who could train him? Like, I, it does seem like he might need some actual, like, legitimate fighting training in order to keep up with some of these guys. I don't know, maybe that old man could teach him or something. Does he have to carry that big thing around with him? Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I was like, guys can shrink it down a bit? Okay, no, he's got like a little ID card. That's... That's pretty cool. I mean, hey, you know what? If I if I got through the, the ultimate challenge of life and death like this, I'd be pretty happy. I mean, even if I had to get the shit kicked out of me in the process to get it, and it wasn't really a great win at the end, but you know what? Whatever. It, it's not the journey that matters. It's the destination. <laughs> Is car more valuable in their own lives? Really? So, Tots, can you be my new daddy? I think he might be a better role model than my real dad. <laughs> I see. So, he's giving him the option to maybe just hold on to it and not actually use it until he gone feels like he's actually up to par. Arigato, Aw, that's nice. Stats is cool. I really like him. The exam is over? So for nearly an entire day. Oh shit, okay. Don't spoil it for me, Satats! You got like highlights or something, right? On a TV I can watch? So do you Don't No! No, oh shit! Don't spoil it for me! <gasps> what? What? Oh no, did he kill somebody? And that's why he failed? What the fuck? God damn it, Satos, why'd you spoil it for me? Spoilers, bro! God! Damn it, I wish you hadn't told me the end, though. Come on, man. Oh, that's, that is a shocker, though. I I mean, with the blood on his hands, I think he must have killed somebody. Mm. Yeah, okay, so the old man knows it. He's like... Nothing he says is going to change that. He, he realizes once we've explained that to him, he he's not going to say no. Ah, <laughs> if that crazy little monkey child went through a giant old hissy fit and tried to murder my ass, I still wouldn't revoke it. I would put him down, though. <laughs> I would lay some fucking waste to that child. Just kind of boom, scurp stop him right to the ground. Yeah, smack him with my big old earlobes. Uh, Killua's still not understanding. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at Killua. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, oh, interesting. God damn, this show is really interesting. Like, they they dive so deep into psychology and personality and understanding the human psyche. It's just so fascinating. So he's saying when he was torturing him, he's not he didn't see any glimmer of hatred that, you know, a normal person would have of like you know, they're torturing him, doing horrible things to him, and inevitably that person's gonna grow to hate and probably fear the person who's doing it to him, right? But he's not seeing that. I mean, that Gon has no hatred or, or animosity towards Hanzo for his actions here, meaning that the likelihood of him actually giving in and surrendering would is impossible. <laughs> Uh, Soka's like, oh yes, that's that's my boy right there. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to murder that boy one day. <laughs> the old guy standing next to Soka's like, ah, ah, what? What are you staring at? Hey, Soka, you have a massive erection right now. I know I do. Don't judge me. I don't care what he thinks. So I'm asking what I think, though. Oh my God, Almighty! This is gonna be something. Who? <laughs> Thirty-one. 
Oh no, we're doing highlights? What the fuck, old man? He's like, after they fall for a while. No, I want to see the fight for a while. Now he's whispering something in his ears. I'm whispering sweet nothings in your ear. Hello, Kurapika. I've been trying to figure out for a while now. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm going to tell Liara you love him. If you don't surrender for me. No, you cannot know. Not yet. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What do you say to you, Kurapika? We both know that I could beat you any moment. Cut your head off and juggle it around the room, but, you know, that's not how Soka do, son. Chow chow! I'm song is Pockle. Oh, God! <laughs> Don't break my heart, dude! Please! I'm not crazy like that little god kid, alright? For fuck's sake, don't do it! Oh man, they're doing like highlights though. I want him to go real like in depth with it. I want to see like a full crazy match between Kurpika and Hisoka. It did seem like he actually kept up with him at least. Although, it didn't seem like he damaged him. Muscle! Hisoka and Bodoro, oh god. Oh my god, you're the most boring person here, you know that? You're so generic, look at that mustache. Okay. Oh, alley -oop. Wow. Bodoro not, not gonna give up. Hey, ah, crap, I had a crack at yeah, me. Hey. Old man, I will literally eat you alive if you don't do this. No, I'm serious. I'm actually gnawing on you right now. You see this fork? I'm going to chow down. First start here. I'm starting with your arms because that's my favorite. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Sucker wins. Kill on Pockle. Oh! Wow. Wow. Man, he is... That is not a good attitude to have. He just says, not worth my time. Forget it. He just gives up. Man, Killua. Ooh, because he's going up against the person he least wanted to fight, too. Wow. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. I've got plenty of other chances. That is some serious arrogance he's got. Oh, okay. So Killua and Gitar Gitaruka fought first. Ah! He goes over and just smacks him on the skateboard. Ah! Hello there, small child. How are you? I'm Ahsoka's best friend. Be careful not to touch one of my needles. They're very sharp. I know, because they're keeping my weird face up. <laughs> oh been a long time what they know each other oh my god <laughs> oh what the fuck that's his brother or blood brother or something holy shit that's a that's a twist all right i'm gonna bet this one's gita gita Ruku. get to me kilo what the what the why what the fuck is that lumi what where's that word ever been brought up it's gonna be brought up later or something? Come on! Come on, Kila, I can pull a shit out. Whatever, I'm gonna play by your rules, Nico. Fuck you, Kila. Oh, fuck you, Nico. I'm glad you lose now. Damn it! Fuck! I thought I was finally gonna get one of these! Oh. His name is Illumi. He, and he's actually his brother. He really is his brother. Wow. Hey. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Oh. Oh. I see. That's why he changed his appearance. I see, so Killable wouldn't recognize him. Wow, okay. That's a twist. Onesan! Oh. Oh, <laughs> you cut up Mom and Maluki. Mom was crying. Tears of joy? Ah! Of course they're crying, they're so sad. Oh wait, never mind. Ah! <laughs> I always love the classic anime fall down. It's just like, just instantaneously their feet are in there like, ah! Trying to get a license for my next job. Huh. Oh, interesting. interesting. Not kind of be a hunter, you're born to be a killer. Couldn't you be both? <laughs> a puppet of darkness without passion. Are you saying he's Riku? Got a little bit of Ansem inside you. That's an interesting observation. You don't you don't want anything or wish for anything. And that sort of ties in with this sort of lazy attitude towards everything that's happened in this exam, right? His half-assed nature. That's how dad and I raised you. Ooh. I want to be gone! Aww, what? <laughs> that's not what I expected at all! He wants to become friends with Gon! They hated Gon after the old man what the old man said. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a very raw and honest moment for him. I was not expecting that at all. He's tired of killing people. He wants to actually just be normal. Damn, man. Don't know how to cast my gong because he's just too tasseling for your eyes. Wow. 
兄貴からんとか知らねえが言わせてもらうぜこいつはバカ野郎でクソ野郎だ君いますなあー Liara is such a buddy! It goes to dickhead, don't listen to it! Murder his ass, kill him, do it! <laughs> Just beat the crap out of him like usual. Yeah, you're all ready, friends! Nakama! Nakama Power, here we go! So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh! Whoa, that's interesting. Oh, he considers him a friend. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to kill him. Bye! Jesus. Oh! Right in the brain! Oh! Oh! Fucking up his face, good! <laughs> but if I kill him, I fail! But if I don't kill him, I can't get through that door! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is an unusual guy. He's like, oh, wait a minute. I know. I just need to pass the exam and then I'll kill God. God, I'm such a nugget sometimes. Well, you attack one of our staff, so, you know. Oh. Never find an enemy you can't beat. Oh. I drill that into you. Oh! There it is! There it is. That's where he gets his, his inherent nature from. Oh shit, but I think uh I think Nissan is gonna be uh in for a bit of a surprise here. Wow. Akila! No! Uh, yay! <laughs> ah! I was lying about killing God! I got you, little brother! This is just a prank between bros, you know. You know how it goes. Wow. Man, that was manipulative. But he proved his point, right? To him, he's like, well... So you weren't even willing to fight me to save Gon. You have no right to be friends with anyone. After that, he's re redu he was reduced to a shell of himself. Oh my god. Oh god, I thought for sure it was like he was gonna kill it. Wow, okay. I thought his brother was gonna be the one who was gonna bite the dust there. Like he was gonna prove him wrong, but I guess not. Oh, Liario and Badara, okay. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, old man's dead! Yep, he, so he did. He just ended up killing him and that's it. So we don't even get to see Liario do anything. And it kick an ass or whatever. Hmm? Hello. God, this class is boring. <laughs> Ahsoka's over there shooting spitballs over at Liario over there. Hey! What? It wasn't me. It was Kurapika. No, I saw you do it! Hmm? Hey, what's up? Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here and pretend you're not there. God was mad. Well, that was a baffling turn of events, wasn't it? I'm a little disappointed just because I, uh, it did, it did end up actually ending like earlier than I hoped, so, and I want to see some like more clashes between people, like seeing Ahsoka fight like Killua or something. Also, the Kurapika and Ahsoka one was just you know, skimmed down too much. I hope we learn what he said to Kurapika before, uh, giving up, and what he said to, uh, Bidoro. Although, actually, Bidoro, we're probably not gonna know, because that guy's fucking dead. But that scene with, uh, Killua and his brother, that was, that was really interesting, and it was really a great m moment of characterization for Killua as well. Sort of broke down the facade that he's been putting up. So then why did he end up killing Bo Bodoro then? Do you just feel like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just fail myself? Because my brother's right, I guess he's just accepting what he said. I mean, Gil it looks like Killua left too, right? So I mean, like, where'd he go? Oh man, it was definitely an unexpected turn, that's for sure. But I do wish that the battles went just a little bit longer. You know, come on, man. I want to see some fucking hype, crazy shit, emotional stuff, and all that. It's great and stuff, but I want to see some freaking ass get beat. That didn't come out quite right, but you know what I mean. I actually do wonder then, is his brother just that much stronger than Killua? I'm, I'm sure that must be it. That's, he, he knew that, right? They didn't stand a chance against him. I thought that might be a moment where he'd actually surprise. Uh, his brother by attacking him and showing that Killua is stronger than he's given credit for, but guess not. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already going to be penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And hey, if you enjoy these videos and you want to help me continue to make more of this content for you guys, please consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. Even just a dollar per month really does go a long way to help me bring you guys the best content possible. Especially during this uh, rather troubling AdSense time. I've really come to rely on my patrons, so. And to my patrons over on Patreon, seriously, thank you so much for your support of me and the channel. You guys are the reason I'm able to continue to do this, so seriously, thank you. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!